get a 14.23. That doesn't look accurate um, if that's in terms of units of PSI. If we actually take a look, we can see what units that's, that's actually registering here. That should be roughly, um, taking a look at the actual boost gauge, we should be about, fi about 15 inches of vacuum, which would be about seven or eight PSI. Let's go down here and look manifold relative pressure direct. That is PSI relative. Um, if we look at millimeters of, of mercury, that's not gonna be scaled right. So let's just go back here and just do PSI relative. So this does seem incorrect. What I wanna do real quick, let's stop this. Let's go back in here. This did have a previous value in the base file, which may have been right for the stock map sensor reading. Um, so let's go in here. Again, we need to rule out all the possibilities here. Now, because we're on the mass airflow sensor, it's not really using the map sensor at the moment. But we wanna make sure that we're scaled right because that can affect our closed and open loop relationship here. So what I wanna do is actually go to file open. <clears throat> let's go into this Carberry stock ROM here. That was the ROM that we started from. Let's click open here. And we're specifically interested on in this ROM, taking a look at our map sensor data. <clears throat> and again, we did, we did look at all this. So let's go down here. We have to find our area where we have our actual map pressure settings. Let's get it down in our file here. And let's take a look. We scroll down here under, we should find map pressure here. I thought it was at the top. Let's just go back through this one more time. We should be able to find it in here pretty much at the top. Here we go, manifold pressure. So we can find manifold pressure offset. This file was showing um, negative eight PSIA. And this file, the file we're currently working with, we actually change that. We go into this scaling here, the offset, we change this to, in this case, it looks like some odd value here, negative 116, that's not right. Let's go here and copy this value. That's from this file. Let's do equal and paste. We wanna correct that, that's probably our issue here. So maybe when the copy and paste part of that happened, it didn't copy and paste right. So let's close this file and let's just double check that that offset is correct and that is set back to the correct offset. So the multiplier and offset have to be correct for the map sensor we're dealing with that scales out the readings, which is why we're seeing that this isn't correct here. So just something that I must have overlooked when we were copying and pasting the data, it must have copied and pasted it wrong. So let's go here and key it off. Let me go ahead and stop the logging there. Let's go back in and let's go in and just change that. That should fix that, hopefully, this, this transitional problem because that, that's something I don't want to have happen. I want it to function properly. So <clears throat> let's go in here. I'm going to start my, my file right, and I'm going to go here and turn my green connector on on my switch, and I'm going to click OK. And we're going to let that enter at flash mode, give it a second, and then turn the key on let that flash. Now it shows that it has an issue here for whatever reason it's flashing and it says don't turn the key off. In my case, I've had this happen to me before in the vehicle, I'm just gonna click enter, I'm gonna turn the key off and I'm gonna go through again, I'm gonna turn off my green connector. So I'm gonna turn that off, try the process again here. I'm gonna go here and we can see that it's gonna ask me the same thing again. So I'm gonna turn my green connector on, so I make sure the ignition key's all the way off, turn the green connector on, hit okay, wait a second, and then start it and it should hopefully go into the flash mode now and it looks like it's flashing so sometimes it does that it's um, probably does it every maybe 10 flashes it'll give me an error like that let's go ahead and let this finish all right so that looks good let me go ahead and turn off my switch let me turn off the ignition key hit enter we're going to go back into our rom raider logging we're going to go back here and turn the key on then click connect and then let's go ahead and fire it up and just take a look at what this relative pressure is reading. That is correct right now, about 910 PSI is what it should read. So the map sensor was scaled incorrectly. That was my fault, which was probably causing us some issues. Um, it has to be scaled right, especially when the speed density format. Now in mass airflow, again, all the fuel calculations right now are coming from the mass airflow, but anything for spark timing, anything related to potentially this open to closed loop transitional switching was getting blocked out because this map sensor was completely scaled incorrect. Let's go and take a look at what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna drive it real quick and I'm just gonna pay attention to what's going on with my closed and open loop just to make sure that's right. So put it into gear here. And we're finding it's staying here in closed loop, which is exactly what we wanna see. So that looks good. And our trims do look good here as well. So that all looks good as far as um, the math curve goes in idle and part throttle. 
So I'm fine with uh, continuing on here. Now we do see the correction is minimal. Again, we made that latency change and that looks good. So that looks good. I'm confident in all the changes that we made. Now one thing we may wanna do, we'll have to look at how it trends. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.